Welcome to Take 5, a podcast brought to you by New Leaf Training and Development. Each edition is an inspiring interview with a leader worth listening to. Enjoy. Hi there, I'm Mark Griffiths, a client partner with New Leaf Training and Development, and I'm joined today by Caroline Young, who is a Finance and Human Resource Director at Sumter County Property Appraiser, and fun fact, is the 2024 President-Elect at the Lake Sumter Sherm Chapter, a wonderful Sherm Chapter that I had the pleasure of speaking at recently. Carolyn, for 17 years now at New Leaf Training and Development, we focus now a core purpose of helping people and organizations better manage themselves, lead others, and grow business acumen. What are your recommended best practices to help people and organizations be their best? But first, if you could start by telling us a little bit more about your organization, what you do and who you serve. Over to you. Well, thank you, Mark. I really do appreciate the opportunity to um, speak with you today. Um, at first, I thought, well, gee, uh, why would you want to speak to someone in, in a small county government with a uh, program, uh, public entity with only 30, 30 staff? And mm -hmm. I thought, well, how many others are in my same um, organization with that that amount of and, um, employees? And I thought, well, OK, so if someone could take one takeaway from a conversation we're having today, then um, I think that would be great. Um, I'm, I'm in, I'm beginning my 21st year in, uh, county government mm -hmm. and, um, in finance and HR. And, um, we answer and serve for the residents of our county, um, as it pertains to property values. And I'm not on the property value side. Um, obviously I'm on the HR and finance side. So we're on the administration on the, in, on the inners of, of, uh, the goings on inside our office. Um, as far as um, recommended best practices and to help people and organization relation to better managing themselves, how to better manage themselves and and in turn lead others and uh, how they can they can grow um, in their business acumen. Um, I, what I find that is so important within our organization is having a cohesive team. Mm -hmm. uh, all that works together to achieve the same purpose, mission and vision, and in doing so with a civil servant's heart. Since again, we are a public entity and that's who we serve. We serve the, the uh, residents in our county. And uh, I think to achieve this, um, I believe we all need to have the basic skills of teamwork, mm -hmm. leadership, empathy, which is a big one, and a willingness to want to be the best we can be. To, to help our employees improve their skills, um, to be their best. Um, what I try to do is I learn as much as I can in, in Zooms and webinars and legislation and, and what's trending now, what to really look out for in the culture and in all these so many different um, trainings that are that are going on today. Um, I, I like to provide our leadership team what I call um, micro trainings. Hmm. So I don't even know if that's a thing, but um, it's that's what we've been doing. And we have monthly leadership meetings. So my job is basically bring what I've learned, turn it to our leadership and provide them with five or 10 minutes of training each month, whether it's a handout, um, a five minute inspirational video. Um, on and, and most of these, for instance, the power of po positive leadership, um, how to go from boss to leader, empathy in the workplace, communication builds trust, conflict resolution. All these topics are are so perfect for our leadership team. And I think it um, it just betters them. So I I look at it as coaching. and and that five minutes or ten minutes, if they take one thing away from that, Hmm. I think that that I've done my job the best that I can, and now they're going to take that and they're going to bring it to their staff and and apply it. That that is the hope there. Um, we also every year at the end of our budget year we have a little money, hmm. and because uh, government's uh, very tight, 
So I go on Amazon and I try to find one um, positive um, book, team book. Uh, I think the last year we did um, the five, uh, it was the, the, the five languages, I think it was, mm -hmm. of appreciation in the workplace. Mm -hmm. And um, your the team was this one, this the mm -hmm. book for this year. And I've already got a couple leads for next year. And and we find that the employees really, well, most all the employees really do appreciate um, the work, um, the employer giving them that book and actually saying, this is your book, you know, mm -hmm. and, and so we found that that's just another little way that, you know, we try to give back with with the budget and as a county government um it's a little different than private entities so we're limited on what we can do in that capacity so that's that's what we've done this year is really focused on positivity so at the beginning of this year this past this calendar year that was our focus this year so each training i try to give them something positive and i think that's pretty important in our current state of the world wow well Anybody who knows me knows I love myself a little bit of positivity, Carolyn. So that's definitely speaking my language. And it definitely sounds as though you've got an unbelievable culture there. And hopefully there were some golden nuggets that you brought back to the organization from the emotional intelligence for managers session that you were part of as well. So I just want to close out by um, thanking Carolyn on behalf of everybody who watches this back for your insights and on helping people and organizations be their best. So some great takeaways there. Uh, I love that micro training approach, very current, um, particularly with the needs of the modern learner when we're all trying to juggle time and priorities. Uh, before we sign off, just a reminder to our subscribers to keep an eye on the events page of our website for additional professional development opportunities that we offer on a regular basis. Have a wonderful rest of the day. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mark. Appreciate it. I hope you found that interview useful. And if you did, feel free to rate, review, and share this podcast. We'll be back next week with another episode, and we also invite you to check out our other weekly podcast, Going the Extra Mile, which is sure to lift your spirit and encourage you in today's working world. Bye for now.